my name is Makbul Amin. This is my story for colorful heritage. I came from Pakistan. My village is 477 GB. My father's name Ghulam Muhammad and my mother's name Zainab Bibi. And I'm farmer in Pakistan, in the village. I stay in the village in Pakistan. I have six brother, no sister. I'm only going for six, class six, calling primary. I pass primary and going to the middle school. And that's in my education. My brother has in, in Glasgow first, and he asked me if you want to come, you can come. And I like to come to see the, here because nothing in much Pakistan that, that time. That's why I come in here to Glasgow. I was 16 year old age when I leave Port Sheriff. And I come in this country nearly 17. My older brother in Glasgow, his name is Mr. Sardar Mohammed. My brother's house there and 23 Bayard Street and there's a seven room and nearly 18 people stay there. Some is the driver, some conductor. That time is a, a tram, what do you call going in the like train, the, uh -huh. that one, some working there, different shift. So all stay, same village, believe I know, same village, all working together. All cook together, two people, one day, two, two people, next day like that, you making chapati, you making dan, dal, any meat or anything. So they just friendly, very, very, very nice there. So when I go there, I say, they, the man said, yes, please. I said, three people, Glasgow, but no money. I have that address for my brother in Glasgow. If he phone, he can give you the ticket money. He said, okay. He said, what address? I told the address, 23 Bayil Street, Charing Cross. So he said, okay, go and sit in a chair. I'll call you back. So he flew from there to Glasgow Police Station and told that police man is three people here from India. A station people uh, had master phone to the police, please go into my brother's house. And he said to my brother, three people in London, has no money. If you want, you need to pay the ticket. My brother said, yes, I'm waiting for that. So he paid the policeman three ticket. Policeman go and phone from Glasgow to London. Say, right, these people, okay, you can give the ticket a train. So he gave us ticket. When I got the sitting in the train, Pakistan train is different. Three days, I never sleep. Need two days, never sleep. So I sleep in the train. When the train come in, need to change the train from a Carlisle to Glasgow. When I, when I come off from the train, I'm feeling I don't know what to say now. The train move away from there. The last go train leave and I stayed standing there. And a couple of minutes after that, a called Puli Habu country says, I don't know what to call this country. So he asked me, he said, what's wrong, son? I said, well, I need to go in Glasgow. Our train is miss. He said, okay, come on, I'll take you there. He take us, take us, us to the headmaster, Yobi any one of uh, trained people, headman. So I told him story a little bit about no money and, uh, and my bed is uh, going other train, um, what I need to do, what I can do. And he says, oh, maybe he needs that hotel to stay there for night or maybe day. He says, well, five hours your train be coming back. I said, okay. So I'm walking and very, very heavy snow outside. That's the first time in my life I see the snow outside. And I just playing each one, throwing each one. My friend had a hookah in the hand and wearing the cap, what, Pakistani different kind of cap. So our clothes are not very healthy either. So when I'm going near that, the door opened. Automatic door. Now I know that automatic that time I don't know. So when the door opened, I come back, come back from the hotel again. I know no there. So next, I told my friend, "Come on, that's up your bag. Come on, going." When I going in the counter, a door opened. I just walk inside. 
and uh, go in the counter and counter lady say yes i say my bag bed bag she she, she says maybe he needs a room in something so she shoved the man he took our whole bag go up a stair in the lift i don't know how high quite high and a beautiful room when he opened the door very nice warm and tv and everything so my friend says oh some problem here i said how oh. he said no money i think he look in the money so i told the lady i said sorry excuse me i have no money and she just tell him to throw outside the door in that snow so he just throw our bag and she said go and uh, nobody asked me to get a rent thing but i sitting in the train first and the lady come for cleaning clean the seat a uh, bogi what you call so the man say the uh, other my friend says the glass go she said that's a glass go and she asked me where you want where you go at a glass go she said that's a glass go no no me glass go she said that's a glass go i said no me glass go she said maybe he no understand she go outside and bring the sta- station master and he asking same question i told him same so he said that's no understand so he go outside he find out one indian man turban man and he said kaka ke the jana where you going i said glass go and that this is a glass go main gaya sa kai glass go dekhiya raj sanga sa pol main sa dar de ni uttar de nahi kehnda glass go to thiya if you can come here this is a glass go i said that's nice so when i come in outside the taxi there I showed that dress taxi, and he took us to the Bailey Street near Charing Cross. So when I go in there, taxi man says, "Please fear." I said, "Money up the stair, no here, no money up." So he take our bag, go up the stair. My brother gave the money, and I just stay there. He's very happy to see us, our face. My brother working in the drapery, selling door to door stuff. He asked me, "Say you like that job?" I said, "Yes." so i got the same he gave buy them big case and put the stuff inside and take me to in the hamilton and he said like that village there you go chop the door and say buy something please and anybody say i you open the case say no don't bother you go next door i said okay so first customer go and open shall uh, knock the door she young lady come and she said yes i said you buy something she said eh, no really i said very nice one bargain she said okay come on so she take me in the home in the room and I'm sitting there and she said you want tea i said yes so i get the tea and after she said that i open your bag to show and i show the bag that time she took 25 pound worth of stuff first customer first one 25 pound so she gave me money she said that and that i said thanks very much i come back next time she said okay so now the whole scheme do the selling pair of socks stock and like that so one one house a goes very nice lady she said you want you want anything He said, "You look in my face. I'm a 16-year-old, very small face, no big. So I said, 'Yes, please.' I never say no. I no like tea or coffee. I just drink because I can sell stuff. So when I opened the case and gave to that, uh, opened the case, and she said, 'Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice.' She said, 'I have not much money left, but your stuff is very nice.' I said, 'Give me how much? I said, some money.'" and some money next week which we speak she said oh that's okay she said you want tea or coffee i can you understand what's mean coffee i said coffee please <laughs> she said that black and white make a black <laughs> so i drink that one she when she bring near me and smell come and stinking i said oh my god so I leave. She leave on the table, and she says, "You can drink that. I'll be coming in a minute." 
And when I drink, honest to God, can he smell everywhere and my face as well are very bad. So since she come in, uh, going in the sink and she drop in there and bring empty cup. When she come near, I just put that, oh, that's very nice. Good, good. She says, okay. Scottish people, very nice because and can you speak English? No, nothing. So each time you go in the door, each door you go, if he, anybody need, okay, if nobody need, yes, sorry, no need, but he gave him the cup of tea or anything, you know, can have them in the house. It's very nice, respectable people that day. After that, I get him work in the restaurant, Karen Cross. Waiter uh, selling, uh, take stuff from kitchen to leave and the kitchen, other side of the kitchen, so people come in and take away and serve there. A Indian restaurant, Jameel, the name is Jameel. Our Pakistani people, plenty come in there. So it's very busy. So I worked there six months. So after that, I said, oh, that's no good. One Indian man said to me, he said, come on, I'll, I'll take you to job. After that, I'm going to work, brick work. Well, I worked there for nearly two years because I got the train from Charing Cross to Adri, take from bus Adri to Coatbridge, take bus Coatbridge and walk from there nearly a mile. Very, very hard, is a hot shoulder, very, very sore, and dirt coming from top and your head, no cap, no nothing, your hand is a oil when, when you're catching the brick. I go to the conductor in the buses. So a two week I done conductor and the inspector came one day because he buys stuff from my brother. So he's, he, I go a couple of times my brother with that house and see that man. So that man says, do you have a car lessons? I say, yes. He said, why you know the guy, the driver? I said, I don't know. He said, come on with me. So he told the teacher, he want to get that job if you can give him. He says, well, no any driver here for you get the test. You go and get the test, but for the bus test, you know. I said, okay. He said, okay. So when I'm going in the bus, he said, you pass. I said, how? He said, well, a couple of times you take the bus, where you stay standing so you can see how you drive. He said, a couple of times you go, and see what happens. So I drive slowly, a couple of times there and there and there. And after he could come in inspect, he said, he can drive any time now. It's a very hard job, very good driving. So uh, my name changed from conductor to driver. So one time is a one man coming in the shop and he said, you're darky. I said, you're a monkey. He said, don't call me monkey. I said, you, you don't call me darky. So he took, he had a bottle in the hand, ginger bottle. He just throw like that and going in the fridge, the fridge damage. And the lady working in the shop, she's very old. I know, but not that old, but she's quite middle age. She says, what's your name? I said, my name is Makabur Ahmed. She said, that's a funny name. She said, I can't pick up. I said, oh, she said, no, no, that's very hard. She said, my husband's name Peter. Can I call you Peter? I said, I, okay, I don't mind. Since that, 45 years, now I'm working in different thing. Still, everybody call me Peter. If any, any of a friend, people, customer, somebody died, I just stay the grocery, box of grocery, his house free. Because making friendship. And... Uh, where is my shop? I have that six shop there together, different kind. And the big shop there, Goldbread, the old big uh, company. So when I starting giving present like that, speak nice. If anybody say you something, you forget about. And customer very friendly. You come in our shop all the time. And our business is a double more than Goldbread. When I sold the shop, and two years are sitting in the house, boring. And uh, my brother said, big brother said, right, you get the job. I said, that's what kind of job? He said, why are you know, selling a roll, cake, day to day, buy from the company and sell that one? 
I said, eh, very hard. So end of that, I get that, I start that, I buy the rolls from one company, McGee in Glasgow. I buy the cake from there and take to the customer. Nearly six months, I give the free sample. Some people very nice, he take the sample and give you the order next day. And some people that bad, he get the sample, eat, next day say, but you gave me more, that my brother never see that cake. So give him that. So nearly a year going like that, very, very hard. After that, God look after me and my job going very nice. So 10 year, I done that job. So after I retire, my son, Nadeem Ahmed, is staying in Bishopric and give him job and he do know. When I'm sitting in the house, boring, time no pass, can my wife pass away? Only myself, my daughter, and granddaughter. So I just go back again work with my son. I still going every year back home to see my village where I walk and I go in my farm and friend there, plenty of friend there. And some died and some still there. So every year ago, I like, I love Pakistan. My identity is Pakistan, but I like English as Scotch as well, because that's very nice. I will stay here 70 years, this, country, this Glasgow, I never move anywhere. It's very nice people, respectable people. Plus that you make yourself friend and no anybody else can make you friend. My big brother told me if you smoke, drink, you can go out from the house. So I never drink, no smoke. Plus our friend, no smoke, no drink. So that's kind of, depend on which company you go. I like to say youngster, Pakistani, going in back home as well. You need to learn your own culture there as well. Your auntie, sister, brother, all the Pakistan there as well. If you go there, you learn Pakistan. Don't say I'm English, no. Need Punjabi speak or Urdu speak. Go to your country, look, see what, what kind of people they are. And it's a very nice Pakistan. It's a beautiful Pakistan. A lot of things you can see there or you never see.